The two exhibitions of German artist Kirsten Bratsch and the Kaya Collective, composed of Bratsch herself and Debo Eilers, were held at the Fondazione Memo in 2018, both curated by Francesco Stocchi. Kirsten Bratsch's entire activity features collaborative practices as a distinctive characteristic. Also for the works created for Ruinet, the artist worked side by side with the artisan Walter Cipriani, who specializes in marble stucco decorations. Bratsch has somehow contaminated this ancient technique with her pictorial language, that gives the works the appearance of the alien-like organisms. Ruinet saw Bratsch approaching space in a radical way. The artist had shielded the glass doors with an adhesive film, which modified the perception of the colors. She also made structures in wood and plastic that further segmented the space. Finally, the beams crossing the exhibition space had been covered with stickers reproducing the same motifs as the marble stucco, with the addition of the dinosaurs, suggesting the idea of a time shift. Artists also decided to exhibit the residual elements of works, Arranged on the ground, similar to the findings of an archaeological excavation, the marble stucco fragments showed a rougher appearance, giving strength to the title of the exhibition, Ruinet precisely, which means ruin. The largest room of the exhibition space was renamed by Bratches Foro, in homage to ancient Rome. This room was the subject of a reinterpretation by artists, who following the summer break gave a new configuration to the installation interventing on the walls with egg tempera of different colors. In addition, Bratsch had modified the arrangement of the works, and above all, she had set up the fragments on the wall, just like ancient finds. The third room, called Crypt, hosted the so-called paper marblings. Framed by structures with lateral neon lights, the works gave farther strength to the visual imagery of the exhibition, suggesting the idea of fossils and concretions coming from paradoxically ancient and at the same time futuristic epochs, always leaving a glimpse of the hypothesis of faces. The project of Kaya Collective, entitled Kovo, saw Kirsten Bright's pictorial attitude collide with Debo Ehler's more markedly sculptural practice. The title of the exhibition alluded to a gloomier and darker dimension. The two artists had conceived space as a sort of cavern, populated by works made through the mixture of different materials. The lightning made the environment perhaps less reassuring compared to the brightness of Kirsten Bratz's exhibition, without however denying a strong vital change, suggested by the intersection of different mediums, that were animated by the soundtracks of the composer Nicolas Xedro.